mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, everybody, troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I have already filmed all the videos for tomorrow. And then out of nowhere, we get this news right now that are breaking from TMZ. And I was like, damn, I mean, we just need to do this video right now, you know, because we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here. And you want to join the Verbrae Troop? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's talk about this mess because, girl, I'm telling you, this is messy, okay? So, apparently, you know, PK, the Reed Kemsley's husband from the Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, was arrested for... Uh, driving under the influence, okay? Which means he just got a DUI. Yes, but this didn't happen today. This actually apparently already like happened like a couple days ago or something. And we're just learning about this uh, today, okay? So what we know is that uh, a couple of weeks after uh, their home was robbed, okay? Uh, apparently, PK was uh, out uh, for a dinner, and according to his lawyer, he had one little, very, very, like, smooth glass of wine. Mm -hmm. And then he just went out, you know, and took his car, and apparently he was, like, waving on the 101 freeway here in LA, you know, and the... California Highway Patrol stopped him, and that was it, okay? So, they did, um, they submit him to the breath analyzer, he didn't pass, and then they took him to the station, okay? Uh, oh, so they stopped him on the early hours of November 23, okay? 23rd, and that was it. So he was cooperative during the arrest, and then they took him to the station, and they did the whole thing over there, and then, you know, he was, uh, sit, sight? I don't know how to pronounce that word. Latino moment, guys. But you know what I mean? Like, they, you know, did the whole thing that they, they usually DUI, so I don't know if he has to go to court or something like that. I have no idea. The point is that he is going to have to deal with that now. So, we are in 2021. We are less than a month away of 2022. Which person is still driving, drinking, and driving? Like, who are still doing this? Like, that's shouldn't be a thing anymore because we have uber we have lived these people are millionaires you can find any person you can imagine to take you home don't come here and tell me that you have one little glass of red wine for a little glass of wine they won't they won't stop you and put you on dui okay you wouldn't i mean you will have passed the breath analyzer thing okay i mean there is a certain amount of drinks that you are able to have you know depending i think it's depending on your weight and your height you know there is a certain amount of like drinks usually it's like two drinks or something like two like two like um i don't know how to say all these words in english guys i'm very tired i just i just did a bunch of videos but yeah there is like uh like like a thing, you know, a graphic where you can see how many drinks you can kind of have, you know. And like, for example, I know for me, I, I could have like three drinks if I wanted to drive. But guys, again, this is 2021. Like, even if I'm getting one drink, I won't be driving. Okay. I will be taking an Uber home. Okay. So, yes, if you are still that stupid that you're going to be having a drink and then going out and driving, 
and you are to the point that you cannot drive on a straight lane, bitch, you're fucked, okay? So imagine that. So now after his house was robbed and now he has to deal with this, the UI is not going to be an easy thing. I don't know. Um, I remember, I think Gina from The Real Housewife of Orange County also had a DUI. So I don't know exactly how, what is going to be the procedure here. I know that sometimes they can like uh, even like take your license away. Um, but you know what? Like that's a big offense. Okay. I think one of the worst things that you could ever do is drink or get high or whatever and then get behind the wheel because you don't know how many times this has end horribly okay how many people like literally innocent people have died over this you know and usually for some reason is the drunk driver the one who survived you know and the poor innocent victims are the ones who end up uh, dying you know so do not go and drive if you are drinking. Like, if you know that you're going to drink, bitch, call an Uber, okay? And he, this is not a normal person, okay? You are supposed to be rich. So you cannot be complaining about the Ubers being too expensive, okay? Because that shouldn't be applying to you, okay? And like I said, he's also rich. Like, or, or like, he also knows people, okay? He could have called anyone and to drive him home or leave the car where you are. You can go and pick it up the next day. I mean, there are so many solutions to this that are not driving while you are drunk and wondering. No, I hate like they're trying to put it like this because that's like kind of like making it seem like it's not a big offense, you know? Like, oh, he only have one drink and I don't, like we don't understand why he had to go to all this trouble. Bitch, if he didn't pass the, the breath analyzer thing, that was not one drink. Maybe one bottle, but that was not one drink of wine over dinner. Mm -mm -mm. So disappointing of it, uh, on, the, on him, you know. I like him. I think he's funny. I mean, I enjoy him last season. I think I enjoy PK even more than Dorit, you know. But this is one of those things that I have to say. Mm -mm. So disappointing. Do not do it. Do not uh, drink and drive. Anyways, that was the little tea that I have right there for you. Um, very early in the morning, ready to start this day even though I'm literally filming this at the end of today, okay? Like, I am so tired, and it's like 11 p.m. But you know what? I was like, let's talk about this because I need to know what you guys are thinking. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.